Well, good morning, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on today's video. I thought I'd show you a bit more of my local area. This is the village where I live. I did show it in a video um, a couple of weeks ago when it was a lovely autumn misty morning. And some people said, show us a bit more. So I thought I'd do that today. We're going along the lanes where I walk through the woods and then onto the common. So I hope you enjoy this little walk. See you in a moment. Now apologies, I've not made a video for a couple of weeks. I'm not a normal one visiting a Cotswold village and that's because the weather here has been awful. It's been de cloudy, damp, anti-cyclonic gloom they're calling it. And it's been very unpleasant weather actually. Um, so it's not been made great for filming. So as the weather is now turning, I thought today I would come out and show you how it's looking. And also, um, I'm filming in 4K for the first time, so I wanted to experiment on this camera and see how it looks. So hopefully you're picking up some nice, sharp images and the colours look good. But, so yeah, this is the village up here. Um, and this is Robra Common, um, which we'll go on and have a look at in a bit. This is home for me, near Stroud in Robborough. Beautiful colours. And yeah, it's quite a nice day. It's a Sunday morning. It's quite early, so I'm not speaking too loudly. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear me okay. But yeah, so welcome to my little world. And uh, let's carry on along the lanes. See you in a moment. So this is a little lane very near my village that you've just seen and uh, yeah, it goes through some beautiful woodlands. I'm hoping with this 4K you can really pick up the colours. It's getting towards the end of the sort of height of the autumn colours. But uh, it's the, what, 8th of November isn't it? Or 9th. So, but yeah, still lovely to look at and this is a lovely little quiet lane. Um, so yeah, people have asked me, you know, a bit more about where I live and people who saw that very quick one minute teaser video asking me, uh, it's too short, could I see more? So here's a bit more, um, so you've seen where I live, well, the village where I live, I won't show my actual house. And this is the lane, this is about five minutes walk from my front door and this leads us on to uh, a path up to the common where we're going to be doing most of the filming today. There is a bit of road noise down there. There's a country lane, quite busy, up to um, their hotel and uh, onto the road to Sirencester. But uh, it's a Saturday morning, it's not too busy. Look at this here. It's very pretty, isn't it? 
bank of leaves there that have fallen and some lovely golden leaves above still on the trees so yeah this is my little bit of heaven and uh, thought I'd share you this bit with you and all my subscribers if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you've just come across me or you've been watching and you like what you see please subscribe it really helps your channel and uh, if you could leave a comment that'd be great so into a little bit of darkness now because uh, it's all tree lined here but look at that absolutely gorgeous I think so and then I am biased because I live here but yes enjoying the fact that it's not so murky and gloomy that you can't see further than your hands you know, you know, stretch your hands out but um, yeah let's go and uh, see you back on the common in a few minutes bye for now bye bye just a bit more as we uh, haven't quite got to the path again there's some more lovely colours very beautiful little place so yeah um, and yeah very lucky to live where I live and um, very lucky to be on the edge of the Cotswolds half an hour from Sirencester 45 minutes from Cheltenham and all those beautiful villages and towns that hopefully you've been watching on my videos and a lot more to come uh, so I'll see you in a moment. Bye for now. So this is what's known as Bear Woods, managed by the National Trust for Charity. And it's a delightful walk again through beautiful woodland area. And uh, yeah, there's a walk I do that takes about four miles. Obviously we're not going to do that today because I am going to see my friend. But I just wanted to come in here quickly and show you a little bit how it's looking. I did actually film this back in the spring when it was equally beautiful with the gar wild garlic but obviously now it's middle of autumn and it looks very different but uh, absolutely gorgeous one of my favourite favourite places to come to very favourite place for locals who live in Robra and Stroud area and uh, yeah, just below the main road, so again, a bit of noise. But um, yeah, just thought I'd show you a little bit of this. And then uh, next time you see me, I'll be on the common again, uh, where we started the walk. So yeah, this is Bear Woods, otherwise known as Manor Woods. We just passed the manor house there. Well, the entrance from Manor House. This used to be all their, all their land. But uh, now everybody can enjoy it. And it's absolutely fantastic. Just pan back to a bit. Okay, so I shall see you on the top of Robber Common in a moment. I'm probably out of breath because it's a steep climb. I'm getting on a bit, but uh, see you in a moment. Just notice there's a little cow line down there on the road. Hope they're all right. Probably are. So we're on the top of the common now. Probably can't see because it's quite gloomy. But that's Stroud, or the edge of Stroud. Lovely uh, market town of Stroud on the, in the Cotswolds. And then 
this is my village coming into view. Um, so we're on in the country, but we're quite near a town, so we've got the best of both worlds. But yeah, we look out across to Woodchester and the, and the lovely valley here. So I thought I'd just walk down a little bit. Hopefully you can see some of this. And uh, yeah, trees are certainly glorious still. That uh, won't last too much longer, I don't think. So make the most of it while we can. That's North Woodchester Church. I think it's St. St. James's Church, but I'll put a, uh, the actual name a bit below. And then Wood, uh, South Woodchester's over there. And you can walk between the two and uh, above the well, skyline, that's Selsley Common. And uh, that is in fact where Liam Gallagher one half of Oasis currently rents a large mansion. You can't see it from the road, it's above those trees, but he lives over there. So uh, yeah, we've got a real VIP celebrity living locally to us. Um, but yeah, room for everyone in the Stroud Valleys. So yep, yeah, it's still gloomy. It's not as clear as I thought it was gonna be, but hopefully you're getting to see some of it. See you in a bit. A popular part of the common. Notice the cars, a lot of people bring their dogs up here. And uh, today's no exception. Doggies love the common. There's actually a dog tree which is, uh, that comes alive at Christmas. And people, dog owners who've got dogs, who've lost dogs, hang Christmas baubles and messages and cards to uh, as a tribute to their pet dog. It's dressed up like a Christmas tree. When we get nearer to uh, proper Christmas, I'll make a video of that because it's absolutely lovely and it's all starts the start of December. So we're not too far away, three weeks away. And I'll film that because it's really like, to me, that's when Christmas starts, when the robber dog tree gets dressed up. And uh, yeah, we always bring a, a bauble and a bit of tinsel. We haven't got a dog. We've never had a dog, so we don't leave messages for dogs but we do read all the cards there's caramel alarm going off just sort of come up here because uh, there's some lovely horses here who live on the common in the winter months um, so they come in the summer but the cows come out in the summer to graze and in the winter the horses stay here all year round so they've got the common I think now to themselves there used to be a donkey called Alfie a very famous donkey Unfortunately, he passed away. I don't think there's another donkey up here, but uh, we always just like seeing the donkeys. And uh, I won't get too close because they are known to bite and kick a bit if you uh, annoy them. But they're beautiful animals and they live here through wind and rain, snow, sunshine, they're there. And I really love them. And uh, just past here is obviously another horse, but what's known as the uh, lonely tree that grew here for a few hundred years. And last year, or well, start of this year, January, it f had some very strong winds and it blew over. And it's been here ever since, but uh, families for generations have had pictures of their kids sitting in the tree trunk that was hollowed out. A uh, bit of a landmark and very sad day when it came down and it's still there. I'm glad the council haven't. Hello. Hello horse. I'm glad the uh, council have not taken it, away, taken it away. It's a real landmark. So that's known as the lonely tree. It used to stand very much on its own. And uh, yeah, it's still there, but it's lying down now. And just up here is a little copse. This is a tribute to the Baden Powell who founded the uh, British Scout Movement um, that children of all ages have enjoyed and adults for years and years and years and this is uh, a little uh, memorial to Baden Powell and somewhere in here there's a a little um, plaque or there used to be I'm just gonna go past this chap because he looks quite fierce I don't fancy getting 
into a tangle. Hello, boy. How are you? You okay? Isn't he beautiful? You're on camera, hopefully in 4K, if I press the right button, so you're going to be on YouTube. I'm not too impressed about that, does he? Uh, here we go. This is the Baden Powell Cops. Another view. Again, you probably can't see that because it's so misty. But uh, if I just pan round, there we go. Planted Christmas 1946 in memory of our chief scout and founder, Lord Baden Powell of Gilwell, who visited Robborough on Easter Day 1916. And this is his little tribute. Very pretty. Some firs there, and I don't know what these trees are, but yeah. Thought you'd like to see that. The other reason I've decided to visit my local area and show you a bit about where I live, rather than visiting classic Cotswold village that I have been doing this year, is because um, we only have one car at the moment. And my wife uh, is a big football fan, Premier League fan, supports Liverpool. And she has gone to uh, take my car to watch the game today. Liverpool are playing Aston Villa. So I don't have a car. And I thought, well, I'm just going to walk. It's, you know, I'm up here in five minutes. So no hardship. And I've not walked for a while. I have had a bit of a cold. I'm working hard um, with my day-to-day -day job. YouTube's just a hobby. Um, but I'm glad to get out. And I'm, I say I'm going to go and see a friend who lives not far away from here now. And I uh, just thought I'd bring my pocket camera with me. And there's nothing better than getting out and having a walk. So, yeah. That's what I'm doing. And I uh, urge anyone who enjoys walking just to get out. Just stretch your legs. It does make you feel better. And there's so many health benefits. I've been a bit lazy, drive places, and uh, yeah, I'm determined now to get out. The weather is turning, as I said. I'm going to have some nice cold days, sunny days, hopefully, and I'm gonna, I've already got a couple of places lined up next week to film. So there'll be lots more content on the channel. If you like the canal trips, that was just because that's my channel and I wanted to show you what I've been doing when I went on holiday, but obviously if you're not into canals, you won't have watched those, but um, if you are into canals as well as the Cotswolds, maybe uh, have a look at those. That was absolutely fantastic, the uh, Brecon, Monbreck Canal in Wales. I recommend you see those. I'll put links in the description. But yeah, see you in a mo. Hello, Stroud in the mist. Now, we're coming up to what's known as Robra Fort, which is um, built in the Victorian era. It's not really a fort, it's a folly. Um, lots of different people have owned it. Some famous people, some rich local people. And you can see it's very much like a fort, but um, I believe inside it's a very modern place and quite luxurious. And uh, I'm not going to tell you who the current owner is because I want to respect their privacy. But uh, they're in the media um, quite often in, in the limelight for different reasons. Um, and he lives here. Well, he used to live here. I think he might have moved out. I'm not sure. But yeah, but, uh, that's Rob Fort and uh, a bit of work being done. In, over the years, it's been a farm. It's been a caravan park been a wedding venue and I think it's going to become a wedding venue again but I'd love to go inside one day and see for myself what it's like but uh, yeah this is a fort on the on the common I thought I'd like to show you that and we're going to walk around it and then uh, I should be arriving at my friend's house so I'll see you in a bit bye for now another lovely bit of colour and uh, we should be going down see my friend in a minute he lives just down here just past that house there. So yeah, it is clearing and you can hopefully see Stroud in the background 
and the beautiful colours. There's a gorgeous tree just there. I don't know what that is, but it's that cedar tree. But yeah, we'll be walking through those woods on the way home. So hopefully we'll get to see a bit more of this uh, beautiful tree colour. But um, I shall switch the camera off now for a bit, go and see my friend. Wish him well and a speedy recovery. Uh, he's getting on a bit now. I won't say how old he is, but more than eight decades. And uh, yeah, very good friend of mine. So um, I'll leave you with these beautiful colours again. And I'll see you in a bit. Bye for now. I just thought I'd show you the lane where my friend lives because he lives down a little track. There's some beautiful houses here made of Cotswold stone and also there's a beautiful old, um, it's not a church, like a chapel, um, which a lot of the local people around here go to if you're that way inclined. And uh, yeah. It's just a lovely little hamlet with a few houses. My friend lives just around the corner, so I won't show you his house because, again, got respect for his privacy if you know them. But uh, hopefully, these people don't mind. But um, yeah, just walking past someone's house, and uh, see you in a moment. Well, I'll see you in a bit. Oh, it's the Tabernacle. It's called the Tabernacle. That's what it's called. I'll just show you the tabernacle as we're nearly there. Here we go. That's not the tabernacle, that's the house next to the tabernacle. Here we go, Rob for a tabernacle. Don't know much about the history. Uh, been in there for school plays, concerts. When our son Josh was at this local school, they used to have Christmas concerts there. And uh, yeah, it's a lovely little place. Um, and around here, so you can get to see the building. It's a very smart building. And this is Robra Scout Group. Always been a big scout connection. You've seen that uh, cops for Baden Powell. This is where our lad used to go to scout meetings. Um, yeah, so yeah. Uh, this really is the last bit until after I've seen my friend. But yeah, that's the tabernacle. Well, I've been to see my friend. And now uh, walking back home. So. Just thought I'd show you a little bit more footage of the trees as I'm walking along the lane now. And uh, yeah, it's about half past three. And it'll be dark in about an hour and a half, so hopefully. Sorry about out of breath, just walked up a big hill. And uh, yeah, so not as young as I used to be. So, uh, yeah, sorry for the uh, breathlessness, but oh, look at that down there. Absolutely beautiful colours. There's a bit of a dark area here, so I'm not sure what you can see. There's a house down there. What a magnificent place that is. Right in the trees, look. Fantastic views across the Stroud Valleys. And, uh, yeah. Look at that. Not sure if you can see it, but uh, that's the setting. It's their garden down there. It's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, so I'm not sure what this lane is called, but uh, it's on the edge of the common. And uh, it is getting dark. But yeah, it's a beautiful place. 
Look at the carpet of leaves down there. Beautiful. So I was just keeping the camera running. Coming up to an area where there's quite a lot of lovely coloured leaves. Majestic tree there. So I hope you've enjoyed this little walk around my neighbourhood, local area. I shall be back making videos of towns and villages in the Cotswolds. So I've got a busy few weeks lined up. The weather's improving, so hopefully you'll um, enjoy these videos I'll be making. And um, yeah, thanks again for your support. Thanks for you. If you're a subscriber, thank you. If you're not a subscriber and you enjoy the videos, please subscribe. It's free. It does help the channel to grow. And uh, of course, leave a comment, like, share. And I'll see you somewhere in the Cotswolds very soon as we head towards the winter of 2024 and the run up to Christmas. There'll be lots of Christmas and Cotswold videos coming out when all the villages and towns have their trees up and their lights. I should be doing a lot of filming as Cotswolds enjoys Christmas. But that's it for today. Thank you very much again for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye bye.